Hello everybody, this is David Barthoff with your three minute interview where you get to learn more about your Republican candidates in about three minutes. Today I have with me Tom McFadden of Upper Providence. Welcome Tom. Welcome David. Okay Tom, in about a minute, why don't you give us a little bit about your background. <clears throat> okay, I'm an attorney in media uh, with offices at 25 East 2nd Street. Uh, I uh, have practiced in media for the last 25 years. Uh, prior to that I was a CPA. Uh, with my own uh, accounting firm, and uh, at the ripe old age of uh, 37, I went back to law school, mm -hmm. uh, Temple University Law School at, uh, at night. So uh, I do uh, uh, real estate matters, taxation matters, uh, estates, trusts. Uh, in the past, I've done uh, low-level criminal defense, uh, no murders, no rapes, no divorces, and uh, a lot of DUIs, a lot of DUI representation. Okay. In about a minute, why don't you tell us what you're running for and a couple things you're going to focus on. Okay. I am running for <coughs> Upper Providence Township Council. I previously had this position from June of 2009. Uh, to uh, December 31st, 2017. I did eight and a half years. I was uh, initially appointed to fill a vacancy uh, and uh, under, uh, and I ran uh, uh, in, uh, in November of 2009 and then again in November of 2013. Uh, we are term limited, uh, so I had to leave council effective January 1st, 2018. And they asked me in February if I would be interested in running again. And I said, yes, uh, our township charter uh, enables us to do that because of uh, uh, it's not a consecutive run. What I want to focus on is the my eight-point plan uh, for the township. Number one is to pay off the $780,000 encompassed by two... Uh, debt service issues. We can do this by December of this year. Uh, uh, 12 years ago, our debt service was 7.9 million, and we've paid it down over the last 12 years, 90% of it. Now, how are we gonna pay it off between now and December 31st? Simple, our transfer tax is through the roof. We're gonna be about $400,000 uh, over budget. Uh, we have received, uh, an earmark of $1,032,000 from the feds for the ARA money, and half of that's been paid. And uh, so my uh, uh, suggestion would be that we pay off that $780,000, uh, one of which is a erosion control bond issue for $400,000, and that would be used by, that would be qualified for the uh, the federal money and the, uh, the surplus on transfer tax we could apply to the remaining bond issue of the district court loan. The second thing is uh, no more incurring of township bond indebtedness unless it is absolutely necessary. Number three, improve cell phone reception. It's horrible uh, in, uh, in uh, our uh, fifth, fifth district. Uh, I, I would like to encourage the, uh, the fire company to get uh, additional uh, su suppliers, providers on their cell phone tower, which they control. They have currently four openings and they have four th that are there. I want, I want uh, the addition, additional providers there. And this is an unbelievable revenue enhancement device. Uh, the, the fourth thing is to clean up the Sycamore R Mills Road power delivery uh, grid. Uh, it is a very heavily forested area. There are ab above ground power lines. And uh, last year we lost power five times. Uh, I live on Sycamore Mills Road. And uh, we lost it uh, on Christmas Eve for two days. Uh, the fifth thing is the little or no tax increases. Once we pay that debt off and with our healthy transfer tax, there's no need for us to raise taxes, okay? 
Number six, no earned income tax. That was suggested by De Democrat opposition last October during the budget session. Number seven, no defunding of police. That was also a, an issue that the Democrats raised last October. And <coughs> number eight, if we do half of these things, uh, I want us written up in the uh, Wall Street Journal or similar publication as the best fiscally managed community in the country. And I think we can do it. And I've already talked to the Wall Street Journal. So they're my position points. Well, you have a very ambitious plan, Tom. Okay. Let's and it's, it's quite doable. It is yes, quite it is. doable that the 30-year trend of borrowing and refinancing that has, has, been, has plagued us uh, both Republican and Democrat uh, controlled councils has got to stop. I mean, this we are we have an opportunity here to bury the dead. Okay. Okay. Let's jump into something a little more yes. fun. Our quick fire questions. Here we go. Up the mountains or down the shore? Down the shore. Better coffee, Wawa, Dunkin', or Starbucks? Dunkin', fine. Okay. Where do you get your pizza at on a Friday night? Serino's Pizza in Springfield. Better pet, dog or cat? Cat. Low maintenance. Favorite Delco lunch spot? Well, it used to be the townhouse, and so now I would have to say, uh, well, it's been, that's a tough question because I haven't been out to lunch in two years. Fair enough. Hoagie or cheesesteak? Cheesesteak. Ice cream or water ice? Ice cream. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Strike that. Thanksgiving. Okay. Go Phils or Go Birds? That's a tough question. Uh, I would say uh, birds. And finally, what is your favorite thing about the town that you live in? Uh, I, the wooded nature of Upper Providence Township, north of uh, the U uh, U.S. Route 1 bypass. It's just unbelievable. The historical component of it, uh, it's Upper Providence is unique. Tom, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you. This has been David Barthoff with your little bit longer than three-minute interview.